fundamental economic truth that I think is greatly ignored by a lot of the people who believe that everyone needs to pull themselves up by their bootstraps and whatnot. And that is that there is a finite marketplace. There is a finite amount of resources. We cannot expand inevitably. And without the ability to inevitably expand, the economy must at some point come to terms with our inability to continue accessing new resources in order to produce more revenue. So basically what I mean by that is like, you can't get to more customers than there are people. And at a certain point, you max out on the amount of people you can outreach to. You reach maximum density in terms of your marketplace. And with that being the case, unbounded and and continuous expansion of business is not a realistic concept. And so when you enter a marketplace that is already saturated, which will inevitably be all marketplaces, there is no way in which you can grow your business. It isn't laziness on behalf of the people who are just coming in. It's simply the fact that numbers exist, that limits are a thing. If 80% of the fossil fuels that we know exist do not stay in the ground, we all die. But the profit-driven motives of the capitalist system have us reckoning with a bought government being paid off by people who not only know the consequences of their actions, but could give a fuck less because they get a little bit more right now. This is not a system that in any way is meant to ever engender a functioning, prosperous middle class. And the American dream of becoming a reality TV star and being famous for nothing or scratching off a lottery ticket and suddenly becoming a millionaire is only going to happen for a few people. So the misconception by the majority of poor and middle and, and displaced and out of work and underemployed and screwed over Americans, which is most of us, this idea that we need to in some way preserve the systems that allow the very richest to keep as much as possible because we believe in our hearts that eventually we're going to get there because we're good people, we're hard workers, and that's the concept of the American dream. The economy that has been designed and adopted globally makes that dream unrealistic. And protecting those people is shooting yourself in the foot. You are not voting for your own interests when you vote for people who want to put pipelines through your land that make your water undrinkable. When you vote for people who want to militarize the police and crush all dissent. When you vote for people who at the slightest action of non-compliance shoot innocent unarmed people in the back voting for those people and supporting those things is diametrically opposed to everything that the middle and lower class white working person lives on a daily basis. But instead of recognizing that that is the actual truth, those people not only vote against but virulently defend all kinds of ideologies that are absolutely diametrically opposed to their prosperity and their advancement and the human race continuing to exist. Progressives are not your enemies. We are not the party on the other side of the fence. We want what's good for everyone. Everyone. 
We want your children to have clean water just as much as we want the children in India to have clean water, just as much as we want the children in Syria to have clean water. And we recognize the existence of the deep state, which basically is the underlying corrupt structure that continues to move and motivate the majority of global policy regardless of who the people elect into office. Since 2001, I believe, the United States government has had a plan that can be testified to by high-ranking military members, by people who worked and served this government and this country for the majority of their lives, and who have gone on record with this information. So if you think that I'm a conspiracy theorist, please do fact check me. Look up Wesley Clark. Um, but we had made the decision that we were going to topple seven governments because we had no idea how to actually address the issues that were being faced by the global community. The WTO worked against India integrating solar power for the greater part of its energy infrastructure. When we all die, none of these small profits, small gains, myopic thinking are going to mean anything. We can stop them. We have to stop them. And everyone who's buried their heads in the sand needs to wake up and stand up. It looks insurmountable, but it is not if we can all come together. And self-preservation is an instinct that all humans have. This blind denial of the actual reality that global destruction is right around the corner if we do not wake up has the potential to destroy our entire species. Stand with me. Stand with humanity. Get up. If we don't all fight, we definitely all die.